Welcome to my channel. Hello kids! I'm your teacher Zell. Welcome to science class. Science 3, quarter 2, week 8, day 4. Our learning objective, by the end of this lesson, the learner should be able to suggest ways on how to protect and conserve the environment. Today, we're going to study about ways on how to protect and conserve the environment. Before we proceed to our discussion class, let us have first a short recall about our topic yesterday. Write, check if the activity shows caring for the environment that enabled living things to survive and write X if it's not. What is your answer kids? Good job! It is a check. What is your answer, kids? Good job! Do not litter, it is check. What is your answer, kids? Very good! How about this one? What is your answer, kids? Very good. It is X. How about this? Good job, kids. It is also X. What action you can take? Help protect the environment. Simple action such as segregating trash, avoiding littering, and joining cleanup activities show care for the environment. How do you keep your house clean? Hmm. What household chores do you do? Keep the house clean. All family members work together to do different chores one person might be responsible for washing the dishes while another sweeps and scrubs the floor you might help by making your bed and putting together or putting your used clothes in the laundry basket In this lesson, you will suggest ways of protecting and conserving the environment.
Read the word echo bag. An echo bag is called as such because it is environmentally friendly. It is durable and reusable. Have you heard about the following terms? Ecotourism, eco-friendly, or eco-hero? What other words do you know are often paired with echo? Echo modifies the word. It is paired with by relating in it to the environment. Now, let's proceed to group activity. Same group as of yesterday activity. We're going to perform activity number four. What are some ways you can do to help protect and conserve the environment? Before that, recall the story about how acid rain affects the plants and animals living in the forest. Restoring the forest back to the health needs care. Care involves eco-friendly practices or practices that help conserve and protect the environment. You will perform activity 4 to learn more about some ways you can do to help conserve and protect the environment. Before the activity, Prepare the needed materials and use alternative materials if any of those suggested are not available. Do a pre-active discussion focusing on the lesson objective. Reminders class, write your observation and answer in your notebook. Work in groups for the activity but have you answer the activity guide questions individually in your notebook. Ask questions before you perform the activity. Now, this is the activity proper. How do you conserve water at home? I conserve water at home using a glass when brushing teeth, using a pail and deeper when taking a bath or washing the car. What do you do with your trash? I usually sorting waste into beans for biodegradable, non-biodegradable, and recyclable materials. How do you save energy? I turn off lights or devices when not in use using energy-efficient cooking appliances. What can you do to reduce air pollution? I walk or prefer riding a bicycle for a short distance destination. 
the importance of acting no more no matter how simple it may seem to protect environments where plants and animals get their basic needs. How do small actions contribute to protecting the environment? Small actions are like tiny superheroes for our planet. When lots of people do them, they create a big powerful team. Here's now they have turning off lights to save energy so we don't have to use up as much coal or gas from the earth. Picking up litter. Keep our parks, beaches, and neighborhood clean and safe for animals. Using less water by turning off the tap saves this super important resource for fish, plants, and for us to drink. Recycling a bottle means it can be turned into something new so we don't have to dig up as many new materials. For the realization class, number one, importance of individual action in keeping the environment healthy for living things to be able to meet their basic needs and survive. For number two, continue practicing eco-friendly habits at home and in school. Now for the evaluation class. Read each situation, choose the letter of correct answer. Here's the answer key class 1C, 2B, 3A, 4A, 5B.